Hey friends, uh, Aaron here for some Passion Works Yoga. Hope you all are having a good day so far, wherever you're doing, whatever you've been doing, um, and welcome to your yoga practice. Uh, today, you might want to have a couple props. So uh, a yoga strap has this double ring on the edge of it um, and is, you know, usually about arm length distance apart or long, uh, maybe a little longer. If you have something similar to that, like a belt or um, a scarf of some kind, um, that will work for today's purposes. You don't have to have the ring on the end for what we're using it today for. Um, so you might wanna have that. If you don't have something like that, that's okay too. Um, I'll show another variation of what we'll be doing with it. Uh, and also you might wanna have a big cushion. So this is like an old couch cushion. You could have a big pillow, like a bed pillow um, or more than one pillow too would work. Uh, so you may just wanna have those things nearby and uh, yeah, let's hop into practice. I'm gonna set my props just next to me so I have them handy and I'll be instructing most of this class from a chair, seated in a chair, but um, you're more than welcome to sit on the ground. Um, there's an opportunity in class where you can stand if you'd like. Uh, I'll be kind of talking through different, different options for the different shapes that we'll be doing today. So um, know that there's always options, right? <laughs> so let's just get settled into whatever seat that you're in on the ground, in a chair, just noticing where your body meets the ground. And that might mean something that's touching the ground. So your chair, a prop under your feet, maybe a blanket or even two blocks stacked under the feet can feel really nice. Show that real quick so you know what I'm talking about. Let's see all the blocks under the feet, adding a little elevation is an option. I'm just settling in for the next few moments to notice the sound of your breath. So the sound of your breath, the movement of your breath, just as it is right now. What is your breath doing? As you're noticing your breath, how it's moving through your body in this moment, I'll invite you to bring a soft quality to your breathing. Soft, spacious, and Taking another few slow rounds of soft, spacious, fluid breath. You might even slow your breath down. That might lead to a slow, slow down of the breath, bringing those qualities to it. And in today's class, I'll invite you to think about your patterns of held attention. So we all have these patterns where we hold tension in our, in our bodies. And there are ways to break away from those patterns. And one of those ways is softening. Even with the breath, sometimes we kind of hold some tension as we're breathing. Right away, welcoming that softness into the breath. And you might broaden that awareness to 
scanning the body for other areas of held tension, if there are any. I know I always feel tension along the jawline, my neck and shoulders, my hips. Starting to soften those spaces where you feel tension just a little bit. Sometimes even imagining your breath moving through those spaces of tension can be helpful. Creating space on your inhale and exhale, letting some of that tension go. Start to move a little bit more here, letting the chin drop down towards the chest and keeping this idea of releasing patterns of tension by softening, by bringing awareness, or even trying something new, creating a new pattern for your body to experience. Let's just rock the head from side to side here. And I kind of like this idea of carving a line with your nose, making this movement pretty intentional, carving this sort of smile with the nose as you move your head from side to side. And if you come across a place that feels particularly tight, tender, or tense, feel free to hang out there for longer. Explore those little movements, maybe creating a different kind of pattern for your body to experience. And just with this kind of commitment to a little bit of movement today in this practice, you're committing yourself to creating new patterns or, or experiencing new patterns, even just for a moment in this practice. Let your head come back through the center, head is heavy, chin to chest, breathing in and out. You can gently bring the head back up through the center and let your right ear drop over to your left, your right shoulder, excuse me, your left hand come down to your side. So we're just going to drop it into this stretch a little bit more. I like to think about my head almost leaning back a little bit, tipping the chin up, and then taking a little bit of that opposite action, tipping the chin down. Adding on to this shape, if you'd like, you can lift your left hand up to shoulder height, inhale, and then exhale, gently bringing it down. So we're moving slow here. No need for rushing, just inhaling to lift the arm up, the hand up, and exhale, bringing it back down. Let's do that one more time. Lifting up, inhale. And exhale, gently bringing down. Lift your head back up through the center and pause. Breathing in, breathing out. Tipping the left ear over to the left shoulder, letting the right hand come down. And just find some movement here that feels interesting to you. Breathing, exploring different sensations. Eventually finding a place to be still. If you'd like to lift your hand up to shoulder height, go ahead and do that. Nice and slow motion. Exhale to bring it down. Sensing what kind of sensation is moving through the body here as you move in this way. I'm feeling something from my neck down into my shoulder all the way down my arm, even into the fingertips of it. 
experiencing that for yourself. Let's take one more round. And then gently come back through the center. Lift your head back up nice and slow. Lengthen the sides of the neck, reach through the top of the head. Breathe in and out. Let's bring the hands down to your sides and flip the palms to face forward. And this is something that I've experienced in a lot of yoga classes where um, I reach my arms up and that brings my shoulders up too, which creates this like pattern of tension in my shoulders and neck. So I'm gonna show you a little um, trick, a little tip that I learned from a, a yoga teacher um, anatomy person, Leslie Kamenoff. And he talks about the spiraling of your arms. So the upper arm spiral open, your lower arm spiral open, the pinkies are forward and the pinkies lead the way as your arms come up. And naturally the shoulders are down the back when you come up in that way. So sometimes just approaching a pose in this different way can kind of change our patterns, something to be aware of, explore. Let's bring my hands down to your sides like they're floating or swimming down. And let's do that again. Palms face forward, spiral the arms open, the chest open, reach up. Shoulders naturally are softened down the back. And exhale, the hands gently flow down. Let's do that twice more, just finding a pattern that works for you, maybe exploring something new. Exhale, the hands come down. And once more, palms sit forward, reach up. Lifting, lengthening, shine the heart up. And exhale, bringing the hands back down. Okay, so let's stretch the arms out into a T. So we've been here. Uh, on each side and then also lifted the arms all the way up. So let's stop in a T this time, stretch through the fingers and then flip your palms out to the sides towards the right and left side of your room. You might even look side to side, just adding that little extra neck movement can feel nice. And while we're here, think about really stretching the fingers apart. Really finding that space through the fingers, through the hands. And this is intense on my arms. So if your arms are getting tired, feel free to bend your elbows and focus on the hands here. We just continue to breathe. The hands can be a space that hold a lot of tension, they do a lot for us. So just noticing how your hands feel here. And on your next exhale, slowly curl the hands into loose fists. They don't need to be super tight. And then inhale, extend, expand, open, stretch. And exhale, curling the hands in. You're more than welcome to have your arms outstretched here this whole time, strengthening the arms and shoulders, or keep your arms bent. Totally your call. Curling the fingers in. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, stretch, open, extend, and then curling the fingers in. Let's roll out the wrists here. Finding a little bit of movement in the wrists, circling in one direction, and then the other. All right, let's shake out the hands. Just kind of letting that go. Sometimes I like to even think about releasing some tension or releasing something that I'm kind of done with off the tips of my fingertips here, the ends of my fingertips. Letting it go. Yeah. Okay, let's come back to our upright seat. Just pausing. You can close your eyes if you'd like and just notice some sensation moving through the hands the forearms, shoulders maybe. Eventually fluttering the eyes open if they're closed. And 
Well, let's start to move it down the body a little bit here. So um, moving into the spine, I'll invite you to just kind of take a little bit of movement here um, in the rib cage, like you're shifting your rib cage from side to side. And something to think about here is staying rooted in the hips. So the sitting bones continue to press into your chair or the ground. We're just find a little bit of movement side to side, rib cage, moving, breathing. You might add some rotation with that, leaning forward, shining the heart forward, moving to the side and then arching as you lean back a little bit, creating this full circle cycle of spinal movement. And you might add your breath to that in some way. Inhaling as you lean forward, reach the chest forward. Exhaling as you round back. And if you're taking that full circle here, you might move that in the other direction. Two big circles. And I like to use my hands on the tops of the legs here as a kind of point of uh, contact, point of uh, rotation. The center of the body is something that kind of shifts and changes as we move um, in different shapes. So just kind of experiencing where the center of the body is here, where you feel the center of your body rotating around it. And gently come back through the center. Just warming up the spine a little bit, sitting up tall. Let's take a full breath in and out. And then gently bring one knee in towards your chest. So just hugging the knee in any amount. You can hold on to the back of the leg. And something to think about here is to keep your other foot grounded. So we're pressing through that foot still as we're hugging this other knee in. The back stays long and strong. So sometimes we tend to lean back or round and just kind of noticing what your patterns are and thinking about making space in your body, softening if you can, even when we're moving into a more active shape. And fluid, what, what feels fluid for you? What feels natural? Breath, moving through this shape. And this is where we'll use the strap. So if you have a strap, you can bring your um, prop to the bottom of your foot, okay? So bottom of the foot, on the um, more solid part of the foot is a nice place for it to be the, the balls of the feet or the heel. And then just slowly starting to extend your legs straight out. All right, so when I say straight out, it does not have to extend all the way. We're just reaching the leg out, extending the leg out any amount really. I like to walk my hands pretty close to my foot just to create this kind of relaxed feeling in my shoulders and arms. So trying not to create a pattern of stress or tension there as I stretch the back of my leg. And I even feel a little bit of a forward fold here, almost like I'm hinging at the hips. We'll be here for a couple more breaths. And please know that you can practice this seated on the ground in like a seated tree type variation or even lying on your back, reaching your leg up towards the ceiling. So just know there's other options here too. And if you're in one of those options, that's great. Okay. Oh, let's slowly relax out of the shape. So there's really no rush here. We'll keep the knee in just for a moment. Set your strap off to the side and draw your knee out to the side. Just feeling that open feeling in your 
hip, the outer rotation. Moving towards a tree pose, we can bring the, the lifted foot, your right foot, onto the ground. The toes come onto the ground. Your heel can stay lifted and slide your right heel back so it rests on your uh, leg of your chair. You're finding that support there, okay? Opposite foot, left foot presses into the ground. Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Tree pose, we're lifting the chest, lifting up through the armpits. And then feel free to stay with your hands on your legs, on your chair, or maybe bring the hands to heart center, finding a little lift of your chest towards your thumbs. And even bringing the arms overhead can feel nice. Just kind of open sensation in the chest. Good. And option here to be standing as well. Um, if you'd like to play around with a standing variation of tree pose, you can stand on your left leg, hold on to your chair, draw the knee out, and bring the heel in towards your left leg, your inner left leg. Maybe your toes stay grounded, or maybe you slide up a bit above or below the knee. So just knowing that there's lots of options here to play around with. Just feeling into the shape for the next couple of breaths. Lifting the chest, staying rooted through your grounded foot. Wherever you are, let's take another breath in. To come out, bring your knee forward and plant the foot back onto the ground. Take in a moment to pause, noticing sensation in the legs and the hips. Let's move to the other side. Left leg hugs in, holding onto the back of the leg. And feel free to explore some movement here. I know ankles can be a place that hold a lot of tension, hips. So some movement might be helpful for releasing that. Just thinking about where the center of your body is and moving from that place. Streaming something that, find, that feels interesting to you. can sit up tall again. The navel gently draws in towards the spine. And then when you're ready, you can take a hold of your strap, moving towards that extended leg shape. Strap comes to the bottom of your foot and slowly reach the leg straight out. And I keep saying straight, but your leg does not need to be straight here. You can have it bent as much as you'd like, and you can walk your hands closer to your foot to let your arms drop in, root through your grounded foot here, and breathe. I always find this pose to be really grounding because of its um, kind of energy pulling towards the middle of the body like my thigh bone is gently being hugged back in towards its socket, connecting towards the middle of my body. All right, when you feel ready, gently release your strap off to the side. Hold on to your knee and draw it out to the side. So we're finding that open hip for starters. And then eventually coming into your tree pose. Okay, so feel free to stand up if you're taking the standing variation, or you can bring your heel onto your chair. Right foot is rooted. 
left knee is pointing out, chest is lifting, breath is steady. Wherever you are, feel free to bring hands to heart center or sweep them up and overhead, maybe exploring that, that spiraling of your arms up here. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's come down and out of the pose together, slowly bringing the hands down, drawing the knee back through the middle and placing the foot back onto the earth. Here for a breath in and out. And this is where we'll use our cushion. So um, cushion or a couple of pillows, one pillow, whatever you have. Let's set it on um, the lap. So we have this cushion in front. You can lean your forearms down onto it, finding a cobra or sphinx pose, you could call this too. If you're lying on your belly, feel free to find this similar kind of shape. Your legs are extended. Your forearms are propping you up. And then if possible, press a little bit firmer into your forearms. Feel the, how that kind of activates this opening across the chest, lengthening your back. I have my hand in gentle fists here, but you can have your hands outstretched or hanging even. A gentle fist just kind of creates more of a sense of commitment for me in this shape. I'm here. I'm going to be here for the next couple of breaths. All right. Press your feet down. If you're lying on your belly, gently hug your legs together. And let's soften and fold forward wherever you are. Feel free to make a little pillow with your hands and let your forehead rest onto it. If folding a lot is not comfortable for you, feel free to stay propped up on the forearms and just drop the head down. And we'll do that shape one more time. So you can rest as long as you'd like. Um, when you're ready to come back up, you can come onto your forearms. Elbows are lined up under the shoulders, more or less. Find your grounding, press the elbows down, the forearms down, lift the chest, broaden across the collarbones and breathe. A little bit of neck release here, if you'd like. We'll drop the chin to chest and then roll the ear over to the shoulder. So same kind of rolling here, carving the nose, carving the line with the nose back through the center. Exhale, inhale to the side. Exhale through the center. One more time on each side. Inhale, head rolls over. Exhale through the middle. And inhale to the other side. Gently coming back through the center. Let's lift up one last breath in. And exhale, fold, soften, drop in, let it go, release. However you want to put it here for a couple breaths. Think about softening your physical body just a little bit more. Really, whenever you're ready, start to come up, lift your chest, and we'll move towards a uh, resting place. So um, I like to have a little prop on my lap in Shavasana if I'm seated in a chair. It just feels like something to kind of hold on to and um, settle with. You don't have to keep it there if you don't want to. Um, I'll invite you to find any uh, last little movements 
before coming into rest that might feel uh, good for you or might help release some tension. Uh, maybe a twist, a gentle twist from side to side or some other kind of movement. Eventually coming into your place that you'd like to rest in. If you're lying on the ground, feel free to stay lying on the belly if that's comfortable or roll onto your back. If you're in your chair, you might hip walk towards the back of your chair and then gently hug whatever it is that you have in your lap and settle in. Feel free to close your eyes, letting that space around your eyes soften. Let your jaw unhinge. Scan the body for any other areas of tension, softening little by little as you take rest and let the practice nourish your body, mind, and spirit in Shavasana. Feel free to rest longer here if you'd like. If you're ready to start moving, just do so in a way that feels natural, interesting to you. Maybe take a full body stretch. And gently making your way into a Upright seat again. So rush. Just closing practice with the hands together in front of the heart if you'd like. Finding a little lift of your chest towards your thumbs and just sealing the practice with a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for this practice, its roots and our ability to share in the practice. Thank you all so much. See you next time. Hope your day is filled with ease and hope to see you soon. Thank you.